so coming to the basics that we have discussed in a catchment area the input is precipitation or rainfall and the losses we have categorized into four types that is evaporation transpiration and most of the times these both losses are combined and called as evapotranspiration then interception and infiltration so once these losses are taken out from the input then the net rainfall that we get is also called as rainfall excess or we call it as a runoff that is r okay so in the previous few videos we have completed the evaporation topic now we are going to start evapotranspiration and then evapotranspiration so the next heading will be transpiration transpiration now this transpiration so first we should get a basic idea about photosynthesis okay so in the photosynthesis process the plants draw huge amount of water for the process that is photosynthesis process okay now from the huge amount of water very less amount of water is required for the process and for the other growth metabolisms okay now what about the rest of the water that is drawn from the grounds so that water is then evaporated through the leaves and this evaporation through the leaves is called as transpiration okay so transpiration it is defined as process by which water vapor escapes from the plant leaves during which process during the photosynthesis process so we'll write it down one by one so the first point is plants draw huge amount of water so plants draw that is they take huge amount of water amount of water for photosynthesis process photosynthesis process okay now but it requires it requires very less amount of water for the process that means the water that has been taken by the roots for the process is more but the actual requirement is very very less no so whatever the difference is there so the remaining water is then remaining excess water water is released in the is released in the atmosphere through leaves through leaves okay that is it transpires so this process is called as transpiration in which the water is released in the atmosphere in the form of vapors okay so we'll write down one definition properly so transpiration is defined transpiration is defined as process by which process by which water vapor water vapor escapes from the living plant escapes from plant leaves okay to be more specific plant leaves during which process during photosynthesis process okay so now by seeing both evaporation and transpiration one thing is clear that 
there is the vapors which is lost the water is lost in the form of vapors in evaporation also the water is lost in the form of vapors and here also in transpiration it is water vapor which is escaping okay now what is the major difference between evaporation and transpiration then so the transpiration occurs only during the daytime okay whereas the evaporation continues even during day and also during night we have seen one of the factor which is responsible for evaporation that was the wind so there is no requirement for the wind to be there present in the day or night whenever the wind will increase the evaporation rate will also increase so you can write that in the form of note transpiration transpiration occurs only during transpiration occurs only during day time whereas evaporation evaporation occurs both during both during day time and night time so this is the major difference between evaporation and transpiration so now as i have told you in the previous classes that many times this evaporation and transpiration they are combinedly used okay so evaporation and transpiration combinedly called as combinedly called as what it is called as evapotranspiration evapotranspiration okay so i hope it is clear so about transpiration we have seen the basic things what is transpiration how it is occurring and uh, proper definition of it there is one instrument which is used for the measurement of transpiration so you write it down pyrometer pyrometer is used is used to measure to measure transpiration very important point it can be asked okay so sometimes in a exam there is one ratio which is asked so there is no requirement to go much in detail about this just you can learn this because once it has come in a esc exam so that tr this is called as transpiration ratio so it is transpiration ratio so it is defined as weight of water consumed weight of water consumed for full growth full growth divided by weight of dry matter weight of dry matter produced by plant produced by plant after wilting after wilting so this is the definition of transpiration ratio so we have completed all the important points about transpiration now in the next video what we will do is we will combine this evaporation and transpiration and we will discuss the important term that is called as evapotranspiration